Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. What is good, family? I hope that all of you guys are doing well. So, let's go ahead and jump jump into um, tonight's channel message, you guys. So, we have Jupiter and New Love right here next to each other, you guys. Jupiter is like the Wheel of Fortune in the upright, um, and a traditional tarot deck is pretty much like good karma. So, it looks like you guys have wrap, racked up a, a lot of good karma. Because of this, the universe is rewarding you guys with new love. Okay? New love. Someone who is your equal, a new soulmate. This person will balance you guys out, right? It will be equal reciprocity. This person will be open. This person will, they will already be whole when they come to you. Therefore, they won't take anything from you, right? They'll only be able to add, right? But this person will make you feel whole. <laughs> Spirit is saying that this is your new chapter. This is the new chapter that you guys, you deserve this new chapter. You've been working hard. You have been staying on the up and up with Spirit, you know? You're going to have a very strong bond, a lot of chemistry with this person. This is going to be a very solid connection that is to be valued. Okay, you're going to value this connection with this person. They're going to value you as well. This connection with this new person is also going to help with the spiritual development. I feel like you, mutu you and this person mutually are going to benefit in the spiritual department, right? With this connection between you and this person. All right. So also here, you guys, um, there's another energy here who got caught up. This is, it's kind of like someone from your past and then you got this new energy that's coming in, okay? This person got caught up in a karmic situation, okay? This person is caught up in the storm right now as we speak. This person has accumulated so much karmic debt. And I'm talking about the past person. I'm not talking about your new love. This person has accumulated so much karmic debt, right? I'm hearing calls in effect. Pay the piper. Guidance. Um, <laughs> the I'm hearing the reaper, right? So this karma has caused a lot of death. Um, to this person, this they have lost so much. This is this past person being made to get on their knees. I'm hearing like and repent. So this is like most high making this person um, answer for what they did to you. This person is going through a lot. They are in the middle of a karmic storm right now for something that they did to this empress. So whoever this empress is, anyone could be can embody the empress energy. Even if you're a man, you could embody the empress energy. Okay. So this just means you're you're very loving, you're nurturing, you're taking care of yourself. You have pretty much learned all the lessons of the queens, but mostly right now you're in, you are nurturing yourself at this time. Everything you're touching is is very fertile, like you're growing. Uh, whatever you whatever you're putting your energy into is pros is prosperous, but mostly you are nurturing yourself right now. Okay, you've done a lot of work. Okay, you've made a lot of sacrifices to be in this Empress energy. Um, a lot of, I'm hearing a lot of spiritual lessons ultimately to get you to the point of being this Empress. Putting yourself first, knowing your value, knowing your worth. But this person, they didn't know your value. They refused to see your value. They, they refused to see your worth, this past person. And now they are, um, they are being called in for justice. I'm hearing divine justice, um, of the horn, like the trumpets have blown on this person. You know, this person had ample time and opportunity to make this right with you, and they didn't. This person was very stingy with their time, their love, their effort, their energy, very materialistic, very possessive, very stubborn, complacent person. Okay. This person has poor spiritual hygiene. They did not take care of themselves. This person made a lot of piss poor decisions, right? That ultimately ultimately led to this very bad breakup between you guys. This person is lacking creativity right now. Like they, they can't be creative. They can't think of a good way to get you back. 
This is all a part of um, Most High's plan. This is a part of the universe's plan. They don't want this person to come near this Empress energy. Not right now. Libra energy here. Okay, some, some of you guys could be dealing with the Libra. But the scales are here in reverse. Okay, someone could have Libra and Venus or something like that. But the by the scales being in reverse, you guys, this is bad karma. This is bad, bad karma. The scales being in reverse. This means that justice was not served. This person was disobedient to spirit. They were disobedient to most high. They were disobedient to their ancestors. Like everybody told this person to come back and make this right with you. Even if you guys were not going to be together, this person owed you an explanation. You are this person's empress. Okay. This person... It's like the U-turn energy here talks about needing to turn around. It says turn around, don't drown, right? Roadblocks, wrong way, obstacles and conflict, a dead end. This person got hit with a dead end. They went the wrong way. They chose the wrong path. They chose the wrong person, the wrong partner, the wrong friends. Like this person chose the wrong lifestyle. They put everything over this Empress energy, and this was a bad idea. They went the wrong way. And this person was met with a, I just heard a deadly brick wall. This person has lost everything and currently still losing everything. Spirit is stripping this person down to absolutely nothing. To just a fragment of who they used to be, I'm hearing. This person is being humbled because of their bad choices and their in their bad decisions you know and their refusal refusal to trust their intuition and refusal to humble themselves in the presence of an empress of a divine feminine energy refusing to humble themselves most high has broken this person down and put them in a karmic storm i'm hearing what more can i lose what more can happen like what next you know, yeah, this was, this was someone who was your soulmate as well. Yeah, this person that did this to you was a soulmate. There was a lot of love, a lot of attraction. This was a past life soulmate. This is why there was such a deep familiarity between you and this person. This is why this person felt like home to you. This was actually like love at first sight type of energy. You just had a knowing, you know, that you were supposed to be with this person. And I feel like in a weird way, this person knew too. Like they knew this too. And this is why Most High is going after and going hard on this person the way, the way that, the way that, the way that he is. Okay. See, the thing about this Empress energy here is you have received some type of communication from, from spirit. You, as the Empress, have received truth and clarity from God. You receive some type of information, some type of download, something telling you to move forward. I feel like spirit has pretty much gave you the okay to move forward, to heal, right? Have brought the sunshine back into your life, happiness back into your life. So it's, it's, it's like... This happiness that God has given you, this peace that God has given you, that this person cannot take from you. Like, no one can take this from you. You, you. You've gathered, it's like you've gathered your strength and your courage back. You are in your power. You're in your, your, your true divinity. You're like, you know who you are. True Empress energy. You know exactly who you are now. You guys have received some type of communication Also, you guys, Spirit is telling me, be prepared. This Empress, whoever this Empress is, whether it's you, I'm really feeling like it's you. This Empress needs to be prepared for communication from this soulmate that's in this karmic storm. It's like they kind of want to block you from this new love, your reward. They want to block you from that. 
Yeah. They want to block you from stability. They want to block you guys from, from receiving something stable, King of Pentacles energy. They want to block you from your blessing. They want to hold you back. They want to hold you back. You know? they It's like they want you on this wrong turn with them. They want you going through this karma with them. They want to hold you in this mess with them. You know? You guys, I told you this person is not confused as to who you are anymore. They know exactly who you are. They're just going through so much karma that they can't be to you who you deserve. This car, The karmic debt won't allow it. This person would actually make you lose more than you would gain because of their own karma. You know, and this is definitely Six of Cups energy of past life, connection of past life, soulmate. But it's like this person see this. This person see that you're soulmates now. Two of Swords in reverse. This is not being blind. No longer being blind to the circumstances and to this connection. They know exactly who you are. They know exactly. It's like they know that you guys were supposed to be together. They know that you guys were supposed to be married. They know you guys were supposed to have kids. You know, but this person, it's like they, they were struggling to let go of this devil energy. They see how their own toxic um behaviors and tendencies destroy this connection they see how they let the devil interfere with them they became like literally a puppet to lower vibrational energy they're seeing that they are the reason why you guys are not together and that you guys are receiving the will of fortune and the upright, destined, faded, new love that's coming in. This person noticed, telling you they noticed spirit has given this person like a download or a dream or something. Spirit want this person to see what you're about to receive and that it's nothing that they could do about it. Yeah, that it's nothing that they can do about it. That a lot of you guys are, this is going to be like a permanent ending, like, you know, you're, you you may not give this person another opportunity. <sighs> this person feels unstable. Like they have absolutely nothing to offer. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, codependent energy. They're going to be codependent. Like this person is going through so much karma, you guys, that they would actually depend on you. And the best thing that you can do is allow spirit to guide you out of the situation and like be obedient, you know? And welcome in this new love. Tell the universe, you know, that you're ready. And mean it. Because they're going to know if you're truly ready for this new love or not. But I see this karmic energy blocking this. Well, I, okay, put it like this. I don't feel like this is a karmic. I feel like they have been behaving like a karmic though. So I see this karmic soulmate blocking trying to block you, trying to communicate with you, offering you a little truth, like offering you some type of truth, kind of putting you, they want to have you confused as to if you're making the right decision to move forward or not. You know, look, King of Swords. Yeah, they want to offer you some truth because they want you to be confused on your decision to move on without them. They want you to re-guess, re like second guess yourself, you know? Yeah, they also want you to accept this little bitty offer because they're going to tell you, you know, like I'm going through it right now. I'm in a tough spot. This is all I have right now, you know? Yeah. And when you turn this offer down, this person is going to feel everything that they made you feel. This is going to be like the ultimate betrayal to this person this is going to be karmic justice to this person this person is also going to struggle to collab with anybody else to work with anybody else to be with anybody else to move forward they're going to struggle okay If this person left you to go and work towards another situation, work with somebody else, whether it was relationship, business, any type of partnership, it did not work out. This person was met with a brick wall. Okay. It was this, it was more of a burden than anything. Whoever that they went towards put the whole load on this person's plate. 
Okay, this is why this person coming out is a nine of pentacles in reverse. This, this whoever they left you and went towards drained and depleted them of their money, their security, their finances, everything. This person is broke. They're broke. They're coming out as a ten of pentacles. I mean, ten of wands, heavy burden energy. This person may be suffering from back problems as well. That's because they got a lot on their plate. Okay occupation this person may be struggling with in in their work situation occupation tell me, tell me more holy spirit wealthy man in reverse yep <laughs> occupation in the upright and wealthy man in reverse this person is like they're burdened by their financial situation right now because guess what whoever they left you and went towards took everything from them scammed them was a crook they were met with a brick wall. Now this person is no longer wealthy. They don't have anything to offer you. You know, they have nothing but a fucking page of cups. You know? Yeah. Look at that. Theft in reverse. They had to get rid of a thief. Yeah, somebody stole something from this person. I can't make it up. Poverty right there. Somebody stole something from your person. They had to get rid of this thief. Thief in reverse, poverty in the upright. Yeah. <laughs> they had to get rid of this thief. Somebody stole something. I just said that this, this karmic stole money from your person. They had to get rid of them. But now it's like they're coming out of this karmic situation in poverty. I can't make it up. Yep, it's been a long journey. It's been a long karmic journey for this person. A very long. It's even longer when you hard headed. It's even longer when you got when when you struggle with your ego. <laughs> yep, it's a longer journey when you disobey spirit, or you disobey God, and you mistreat people. You know, you disrespect your empress, you disrespect your soulmate or your counterpart or whoever you were to this person. It's an even longer journey, you know. Give me some final messages, Holy Spirit. And this person, I want to keep you bound to me. We know this. And you know this. This person want to keep you bound to them. You the empress. Who wouldn't want to keep the empress stuck to them? But you can't, you can't keep the empress stuck. Okay, because all you do is dress and rest. You cannot keep the empress stuck. This person want to keep this empress bound to them. So, because it's like they want your son. You guys got sunlight. You got courage. You got strength. You got money. You got stability. You sitting on this big ass pillow, cushiony and shit. This person feel like you're living a cushiony, luxurious, comfortable, blessed life when you are. But you earned this shit. And you got some new love coming in, too, with this Jupiter energy. You got a lot of good fortune, like your business about to expand. You're about to be extremely successful, have a lot of wealth, okay? You are truly tapped in and connected into the cosmos. You are connected to your galactic family. You, are, you have a strong, strong connection in the ethers. You have earned these blessings that you're about to receive you have earned being in this empress energy i have to con control my sexual urges when i'm around you yeah this person want to come through and try to put some some um whew, trying to put some devil sex on you some toxic you know toxic sex on you real fast you know mess your head up that's what they think tell me more holy spirit crazy ass karmic yeah that was stealing money from them so they steal this crazy karmic that's still running behind them that stole money from them and everything also you guys if you're interested these are my wild truth oracle you guys can find these cards on my etsy shop the link is in the description box so tell me more holy spirit past life karmic causing current life interruptions so you guys this karmic this crazy karmic that stole money from them in this lifetime that put them in the nine of pentacles in the upright, being codependent, having to ask everybody for money, a place to lay their head. Can I get two dollars? This person robbing Peter to pay Paul. I'm talking about barely making ends meet. This is a part of this person's karma. They are in a karmic storm for what they did to this empress. You were the love of this person's life. You loved them from a, a genuine, pure space. This person took advantage of you. 
They took advantage of you and they ran off, you know, thinking that they had found something better and this person got robbed. They got robbed. Thief and poverty. This person is now like dusty. You're, this person is really like dusty now. Okay, just saying. They probably wasn't dusty when you met them, but this person is given very much dusty. Okay, wealthy man in reverse. And I feel like this person has been trying to hide it for a while that they don't have it like that no more, you know? All right. Ain't that some shit? When you met this person, you could have been, you know, not in your empress energy. You were still growing. You were still transforming. This person, like, treated you like you wasn't shit. You know, made you feel like you was just disposable. Like, you know... This person tried to really, you know, shine on you. Yes, they did. They tried to make you feel like you wasn't nothing. This person actually left you, threw you away, went towards a karmic energy that robbed them, that robbed their asses blind, you know. Now they're caught up in a karmic storm. Spirit is broke, broke, spirit has broken this person down to their knees. They ain't got shit. This person ain't even got the shirt on their back, Okay. And it's like, now this person is in this dusty energy. This person is dusty. They're in a dusty energy, you know? Yeah. And now you're the empress. It's like the universe has turned the tables in your favor, right? Turn those. One thing about them tables is they show do turn. Gotta watch out. You better watch out. You better not run. You better not run. I'm telling you what. The universe is coming to town. All right, all right, all right. It's making a list. It's checking it twice. It's going to find out who's naughty or nice. <laughs> um, I know I sabotaged this connection. I had to do something to protect my heart from you and my love. This person is making excuses. I don't want you to be with anyone else. Stop acting cold towards me. You know you still love me because I still love you. So this person is like pretty much sure that you still love them. That's what they're going to tell you. Okay, I feel like this is going to be like a driving force to get for this person to have the balls and the courage to reach out to you. Because they can't address the empress in any type of damn way. You're different now. Baby, it's different. It's different. You can't just pick up the phone and call me directly, baby. You got to... Talk to my assistant, right? You got to talk to my agent. You can't just talk to me any type of way. You got to talk to me nice, all right? So it's just like this person is just like, damn, like they should have treated you better, you know? They didn't know that you were going to be the empress. They didn't know that God wasn't done with you or the emperor or whoever you are, man or woman. They didn't, they didn't know. They thought you was just like the rest of them. They actually thought that you were dusty, to be real with you. But actually, God had a trick for that ass, okay? So, yeah, give me one more. Here for a good time, not a long time. That was the problem. And that's the problem. They was here for a good time, not a long time. And they actually let the let the real one go. Whew. Dummy, 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 dummy. What is this? If you move on with someone else that would devastate me, I would think about killing them and probably even you. Jesus. Bipolar, schizophrenia, chemical imbalance, mental illness, demonic possession. Whew. My insatiable appetite for money, power, sex, and control has landed me in a tough spot. I've created my own karma. Yes, you have. But please be careful. Watch this person because they ain't. this person feel like they ain't got nothing to lose at this point. And you don't want this person to try to like to knock you off of this throne, literally. And like, you know what I'm saying? This person is like, listen... I don't want you dealing with nobody else. If I find out it would devastate me, I would think about doing something to them, you, me, everybody. You know, this person got to get a fucking grip. This person's losing their mind. And the problem is that they've created their own karma. Okay, 24, 24, I feel like when I said that. So it's just like, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. This person is like, they feel like they ain't got nothing to lose at this point. I'm telling you something. Okay, a person that feel like they ain't got nothing to lose or a person that ain't got shit to lose is a dangerous person. Watch this person, okay? Yeah, you gotta watch this person. They feel like they ain't got nothing to lose. 
They feel like you won. You got it all. You know? They ain't got nothing. They lucked and ran out. They mojo gone. If you haven't watched that reading about the mojo bag, make sure you watch that. Because you guys are coming out as this person's. You was like this person's good luck charm. And spirit has created a bunch of roadblocks in this person's path because of what they did to you. They lost their mojo. So make sure you go watch that video, you guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm sick with guilt over how I treated you. Yeah, this person guilty as hell. Guilty. And to add insult to injury, they got to watch you win. Be strong. King of Pentacles and the Empress. You know what I'm saying? They got to watch you shine. They got to watch other people look up to you. They got to watch you be celebrated and loved. Okay? This person got to watch you get this Jupiter energy. Good fortune, good luck, abundance, expansion, success, and new love. The whole time, this person ain't got a, a look, a shirt on their back. That's how it happened to you. God said, you don't bow, bow now or you bow later, but you will bow. And this person needed to be humbled. Amen. Amen. All right. I love you guys. Hey, if you guys have not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead. Hit the subscribe bell and the notification bell. Subscribe button and notification bell, my bad. So that you guys won't miss a video and you won't miss an alert and you'll be a part of the notification gang. Also, if you guys are not a part of our clubhouse um cosmic royal family make sure that you are doing that it would be greatly greatly appreciated all right love and light peace